A new book finds humans are fundamentally changing our planet, and not for the better. It says that thousands of animals and plants are headed toward their demise. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Colbert is a journalist and the author of The Sixth Extinction. She joins us along with CBS This Morning contributor Michio Kaku, who is a professor at the City College of New York. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So when I was going through the book, reading your book yesterday on the plane, The Sixth Extinction said to me that you're talking about us as human beings, that we could be the sixth extinction, extinction. caused by our extinction, caused by our own hand. Well... I guess one of the, the lessons that we have learned from the extinctions of the past, of which you know, there have been five other major mass extinctions, is that the rules of the game change, the rules of the survival game change, so that you really don't know what's going to happen, I guess would be, would be what I'd say to that. Yeah, but when but, we hear extinction, we think the dinosaurs, catastrophic. Are you predicting something catastrophic? Well, you, the dinosaurs, there's a pretty firm scientific consensus that the dinosaurs were killed off by an asteroid impact. Mm -hmm. And now you will often hear scientists, and I have heard scientists say, we are the asteroid, humans are the asteroid. We're changing the planet so rapidly that we're having that sort of, could have that sort of effect. Just for the record, what are the other five great extinctions? Well, they go way back. I mean, we're talking five extinctions over the last half billion okay. years. So the, the most recent was at the end of the Cretaceous, about 65 million years ago. That's the asteroid impact that, that did do in the dinosaurs. And did it, was it instant, or did they die off over a period of time? Well, when you get a, go back that far, we, we, you know, everything gets compressed down to a layer, tiny. So you're doing sort of CSI on something that happened 65 million years but, but ago. But what are you really saying here, that we are going to become extinct perhaps because of what we're doing to the planet? And what is it about the way the planet is going to extinct us? Well, the lesson that we learned from the asteroid impact is that very rapid change in the planet. Uh, a lot of animals just can't keep up. A lot of organisms can't keep up with that. And what we are doing right now, the reason it is comparable or potentially comparable to an asteroid impact is we're changing the planet very, very fast. How are we doing that? We're putting a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. We're changing the climate very rapidly. We're putting a lot of carbon dioxide into the oceans. We're changing the chemistry of the oceans very quickly. We're moving things around the planet, things that haven't been in contact for tens of millions of years. So, for example, just every day in ballast water in our ships, something like 10,000 species are being moved around the planet. So, Professor Kaku, when you hear that, do you think we need to do something? And we need to do it now. Well, some people say, why should I care right. about some icky spiders and yucky worms in the Amazon rainforest, right? And the thing is, we humans are at the top of the food chain. And it wouldn't take much to topple us from being that top position. For example, as the oceans become more acidified because of acid rain from coal plants, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, that means a die-off in the coral reefs a die-off in the fish population, mm -hmm. or the Amazon rainforest. These are the lungs of the earth. Oxygen, carbon dioxide gets cycled through the rainforest. As we deforest the rainforest, we're endangering the very air we breathe. And so the next endangered species could be us. Yeah, and deforest the rainforest, you mean cutting down the trees. The carbon dioxide that we're putting in the air is destroying the coral reefs. That's right. And remember, it's happened before. Take a look at the rise and fall of civilizations, in part. The Mayan civilization, Anasazi civilization, <clears throat> the Easter Islanders, in part, declined because they overforested, they overfished, and they deforested their environment. Mm -hmm. But so, Elizabeth, this is reversible. Yeah. Well, if you're already gone, if you're one of the unfortunate species that's already gone, clearly it's not reversible. The question is, what are we going to do now that we sort of have this understanding of what we're doing? Can we mitigate the effects of what we're doing? And, and, and there the answer is clearly yes. There's many, there are many things we could do. For example, we could stop putting so much CO2 into the atmosphere, as many, many scientists are urging us to do. Can yeah. I just, before you leave, point out about you, Michio Kaku. I was reading about you in the Sunday New York Times. Did you guys know he likes to ice skate? <laughs> your daughters think that you are prehistoric when it comes to your music. And you cringe when you watch The Big Bang Theory because you said it shows that nerds can't really get women. Yes, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> and you're saying, not true. <laughs> that profile, I wanted to break the stereotype that yeah. we physicists are a bunch of nerdy little people that yeah. can't pick up anybody on Saturday night. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's not the way my friends operate. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth Colbert, good to see you. Michio Kaku, we don't think that about you. No, we don't. <laughs> the sixth extinction goes on sale tomorrow.